So everybody, welcome back to um, Fishy Craft. This is episode six B. So continuing from where we were last episode, which we did a bit of mining, and I sort of have my opinion on what mining in sort of the negatives is like. Um, that's pretty bad. But anyway, this episode I want to sort of more focus on biome aspects of stuff. So, I think I'm going to go that way, because I've not really been in that direction. At least I don't remember being in that direction, but I might be wrong. But anyway, um, we're going to find some biomes, probably do some mining in the process. And, um, yeah, we should be okay on that one. But, um, yeah, let's um, go and get some stuff sorted first. In terms of stuff sorted, I think a lot of it is just going to be pre prepping our gear. Now, I am a bit worried about my pickaxes, but because we're not going to be doing as much mining as we did in the first episode, you know, we did some strip mining, we should be fine, because I think I'm probably just going to go down into one little, like, cave, and, you know, probably come back there in the future with some of the other guys and see what we can get done there. Now, next episode, um, I'm probably going to, like, record this episode, and then, like, tomorrow, I'm going to do this in one day, and then tomorrow I'm going to start the next episode. Which, we, I want to put heavy attention to the Hacienda. Like, really, I think it's going to be a lot of time spent in the Never next episode. Bone blocks, and probably chopping some more trees down, and starting to lay down the, more of the ceiling a bit. And it's just getting some passive progress and possibly doing some terraforming around because I want the whole exterior to be done, you see. Probably by next episode, and that would take me a while. But you can see how, as like finished as it is, a lot of it is still not done. And it's a lot of this, like, little, if the detail, really. And like the pillars and stuff. But that will be done soon. I'll get that done. So yeah, I'll be back with you guys once I've got everything um, prepped for the travel. It's off that direction. So guys, I've got everything ready as you can see. A um, bunch of water buckets, um, some wool and that. Um, flint, I'm not sure where that will come in handy. Um, but yeah, now there's also another thing I've just noticed. I went in that direction once for sand mining, but way before we even had, like, everything we have today, so it's like the industrial district, way before that. I think it was a time where in the early days it was just me, and I was actually build, building the mansion then, and there wasn't many deserts in the area, the nearest one was, was obviously the industrial district, but I don't seem to have known about that one. I went on jump base and I assumed that was the nearest one. I guess it was from World Spawn. I don't think it was from the Hacienda. So I went in this direction and it was a really long travel. I'm not sure if I even showed it to you guys. This is where I hope I think I'm gonna go a bit more straight. And we're still gonna head as if in, we're going to the planned shopping district and my lights are just deactivated. It's normal. I come on to fishcraft. Yeah, but a bit weird. Anyway, I can say with the plant area, with the shop industry, it's not the shop industry not going to be anymore. That's not new terrain, is it? Stay ahead of us. Reason is, I just want, like I said, everything a bit more connected with like the furthest thing being away at the industrial district, but that's got things that you want to be a bit further away. You know, you, you, you'd want the farm to be not as close. You'd want the farms to be, like, further away. This is for, like, lag reasons and things like that. So, yeah, I've been here before. You know that, but yeah. Noticing also a pattern with every Fishycraft world that it has its like common biome. And like Fishycraft season two was guaranteed like like 
He's not very in the forest as far as I'm aware. Wishcraft season one was like savannas. Because there were plenty around. I think Wishcraft season two was um it wasn't deserts, not that far back, and it wasn't hmm. Jungles. There was a jungle nearby. And I was actually planning to do some bits there, but we never got time because the season ended and yeah. But if there is a jungle on this world in new terrain. So saying like that might be interesting. Not sure if these are new chunks. Because what we've essentially Right, these are guaranteed not new chunks because cobblestone filler. There. Me and Haribo must have been here. I think I remember. This. That's it with the other one. Must have had a full inventory not to pick up some of these bits. Hmm, weird. Not weird, but you get the idea. It's a bit confused about some stuff. Well, it's I've not been on the world as much recently, so say, say I played a bit more, probably would have remembered, but me and Harry both both been sort of put off Minecraft and put back onto foot night. You know, with all the new season and all that. And well, I bring wool, but I don't bring say cobblestone. And that's, um, how stupid me starts coming in. I'm hoping to find some biomes. I've not got a lot. Whoa. What is this? Here before. Should I want to see? Yeah, you would. Is that here before? Really weird. Not sure if it was, but might have been. I have to see. Check through the clips to see how that appeared. Wait, as fishy craft will treat it as a thing of mystery. The thing with fishy craft, we've got, we've been everywhere. It's something that like I can't can't control. Say I'm on a single player world. Well, I'm probably I'm going to play in more like an enclosed space. You know, I'm going to play in this little radius. But with fishy craft, you know, we're all everywhere. You know, Harry Bo does goes here, and I think me and Har me and Harry Bo have definitely been in that. Um, ravine? Yeah, ravine. I was just getting... Right, we've been in that ravine before because I know... I, I feel like I recognise it. And we have. Because if you see, this iceberg, this is sort of the... Well, if, if you go that way, you will end up at the plan shopping this So me and I have... I've definitely been here because I remember, you know, me and Haribo, we've been here all those, all those years ago. And because we like, we said, well, let's go a bit exploring, and I think this is when, like, Haribo just joined somewhere. And we just, I think the day Haribo joined, we started, we started the industrial district the same day. So, like, well, let's get some stuff done. Scab and nibbles. Sort of thing. Now, I don't know when I'm going to start coming across new chunks. A bit scared that new chunks are going to be in like ages of blocks. I don't know when everyone else has been. And that's why I should have put some form of world border at the start. And it was like, what? Two, like, 4k by 4k. Then I and it like um, 5k by 5k when 1.17 came out and then it would be 
you know, 6k by 6k, right? That's right. So it would have got like bigger by a thousand blocks ever up there. I'm not sure if we'll be on 1.19 on this world, but I, well, probably we will. Probably. It depends how much there is to do, because we're judging by what this is. This is like. I'm going to compare this to July of what Fishercraft Season 1 was. But, like, really, really early July, and by that I'm saying, right, new chunks discovered, I think. And I, well, comparing it to July, because May was, like, the first default stuff. June was getting a bit technical. July was really, like, all over the place. Everything, everything going on. And August was just, like, patching everything up. And, oh, my God. Don't tell me if I'm in the jungle. Oh, come on, yes, let's go. I love jungles, they're like one of my favourite. The pillager apples up there. And, yeah. If I wasn't doing the Hacienda, I would have said this is my base. Look at this. This, oh, this looks cool. You could actually have like all the hanging stuff. See, you can tell we're in new trunks, it's not as tough as that one. Now I'm going to make the video that one, we'll probably do a bit of travelling really, and just having a look at some of the new terrain. And the actual proper videos are going to start coming out from, I'm hoping Wednesday or something next week. But, yeah, I think I can, oh wow, that looks, what? Nobody can't have been here before. Look, it's like... As if somebody's already pulled it up. Weird. I need to actually have a look. Eh, weird. Well, I've definitely not been here. Well, this is terrain, it's so cool. This river feels like... Oh, wow. Look at this. So it's like... The terrain sort of meets me. Oh my god. This is cool. Like, especially like... See this? I think oceans, as much as update aquatic improved and still needs something. Like, the rivers. I think there should be like... There's a chance you can find some at the bottom of the river and it's just like... Like a golden nugget, but it's not stuck down so I can iron frame her out. But it's just like floating the summer. And it can't despawn unless you've dropped it back into the water or something. Look at some of this terrain, guys. It's just so amazing. Like, we're probably not going to get to do the mining, like part of the exploration, but we can do mining later and at another day. I'm probably going to do a time lapse in a future episode. But we do come back into some of these new chunks and have a look. Hmm. I think like I said to Harry Bell the other like a couple of months ago, I don't want one base, I want multiple bases. Because it just be cool. Oh wow. I've only seen some on par with this on one of my oh, on someone else's world. That was way smaller. This is why I love fishing crafters. I've chose the seeds. Well, the first seed was really chosen. The second one was just a random one I had. Well, no, the third one was the random one I had. The second one was a bit. Everybody hated it apart from me. Yeah. But I don't. I don't. I don't think everybody got to the stage to enjoy it. I also realised, because nobody else has came on in the world recently, I am the richest person when it comes to owning copper. Which actually makes me happy. I don't know when it comes to diamonds, because I know Haribo enjoys mining way more than I do. I've... I hate mining. I only going to do it like early game, then just, just don't like caves. Not that I don't like caves, but it's just mining seems repetitive. Unless you're down here for something that you need, then it's just going to be boring. And now, well, it's going to get even more boring for me, but I hope I will enjoy it a bit more. 
Now, is there any diamonds? Because I went on here. Well, I went into something like this. With these tap skips. I don't know the names, I'm sorry. But I'm going to start learning them so I can be a bit more technical in my episodes. And will I. Oh my god, will I free K blocks away? Well, um. I was bit free point. 3% ranked that you would have to go like 70,000 blocks out. Oh, my mistake. I didn't place the. Oh, actually, I should just place the world book, didn't I? I've got some redstone, so I'm just gonna fill this up with um, some resources and probably we'll be out of here. And if we do come across more stuff, I will claim it. And I'm hoping to actually have to just probably start doing more terraforming so in this sort of style so we can bring the, these sort of like land formations if that's the right word over to um I don't know that thing that place needs a name like that sort of area where we're living in you know red the red farm will eventually be there me and Haribo we need to sit down on that one weekend and we need to be like we're doing it Maybe an hour, but we'll do that pretty soon. We have the design. We designed it like a while ago. It's really heavily based on the iPhone design we had. But what we've done is we've made it smaller and we've made it into a rare farm. So rather than killing iron columns, it's killing villages and ravages and witches. We saw that with witches it had a really big problem because it was struggling. But we Okay. Yeah, look at all this copper. I think this is like... How big is this chunk? I think this is multiple copper light bands. How big is this chunk of... It just goes on. I'm not going to be surprised if we would get like... What, 10 stacks of some of copper from this? And it just continues. This is stupidly amazing. Look how much copper we have. Yeah, well, I, I might start selling my copper just because I feel sorry for everyone else. If not, I had as much time to play around with this with 1.17 and 1.18 as I have. So, like, on this world at least. So they're going to be really behind, and I'm going to be really ahead. It's, Hmm, that's how fishy craft works though. I'm always ahead because I have more play time. And that's how it works with every world. Well, say you own the world, like not like you own the server or something like that, because if, well, say you run a server, that's like you join whenever you want when that server's on. So like, it's a bit different, but with like say console worlds and invite people to game, it's a bit like, you know. Like that. Just gonna finish some of this up, and yeah, we've already been recording for 20 minutes, so I'm probably gonna finish up some of this cave, and I'm not gonna edit this video today, guaranteed not. We could go into a time lapse and just be stupid. Say this is this has been a more talking episode. And yeah. I also want to do some other stuff other than play Minecraft all the time, but I've spent like um not an hour and a bit. Well not, not an hour and a bit, half an hour on Fishycraft, just doing some research I think. But say this was early game, I would probably spend two hours, but I'm spending like half an hour reason is. I, I sort of like have efficiency in that, and I can just get the efficiency to do a lot of these stuff. But I've been repairing my lighter all the time. I need to repair the shovel. Because I need that super smell and needs restocking. I don't know why, but somebody's been in the area a lot. That would be possibly me. Possibly you know, some of the others. And they're like, because we're in the chunks all the time, it's just 
you know, powering on furnaces, closing the glasses now and all that. And that's really draining our like supply of sand to power the super smelter, which it's not really what the super smelter is about. I'm not going to go really far into the cave. As you can see, there's a lot to explore. Yeah. I think one thing that they need to do is have something brighter than a torch. It's not like a beacon or something, it's something that you can carry around to light it up. So with these new caves, it's really dark. But yeah, uh, let's just finish off with. Diamonds. Okay. Bit weird. Look at this box. This is just like what? It's like fifteen minutes? Less. Like what? 10 minutes of mining. Well guys, um, I think we'll um, end it here. It's been a pretty long chatty episode, but I like to have some of these because to give me um, time to actually talk about what I want to do with the channel and what to go and yeah, not I'm trying to learn how to make an episode shorter, but then I go into these rants and I don't control my time. And I even started cutting up clips, so I'm like saying something. Well, we're going to do this now, right? And then like rather than going to a full like tutorial and on how I've done it, I'm just going to be like, right, and it's done. So you can see it runs like this, like, just do something like that, it just speeds the episode up and it also means you guys have more time to watch other stuff and do other stuff and I have m more time to do what I, all other stuff I enjoy. I think we'll check the rest of this cave at the start of the next episode. You know? We'll check this, we'll do a little time lapse. But yeah, I hope you did enjoy this episode. I know it's been slightly chat one, like I said, but I hope you enjoyed. Next episode, guaranteed, we're going to spend a lot of work on the Hacienda. Like, I'm just going to be AFK at the cobblestone generator. Um, I'll probably build some. Mm, not because I already have a super smell. I'm probably going to build one that converts cobblestone to stone and then. It turns into smooth stone, and whilst I'm you know, probably doing all the tree mining, I'm probably just going to build like a big AFK thing for like trees. Well, actually, a better idea would be anchoring all the cobblestone, going into the nether, and doing it that way. Well, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.